I'm seeing a lot of those very heavy showers, some with lightning, some with small hail, some with strong gusty winds, in addition to the heavy downpour. When we look at the wide view of our Doppler radar, you can see these bands of heavy showers moving in from the coast with lightning in some spots, stretching all the way up directly over Seattle, over Tacoma, even a band of thunderstorms developing just outside of Bellingham. But zooming in a little bit closer, you can see where those bands of showers are. From Aberdeen, we just had a new lightning strike outside of the city to the northeast. And now Elma, Tahuya on the way. Some heavier showers for you. The ones that passed over headed out of Tahuya and into Seattle. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit closer here so you can see the intense rainfall associated with this is very shortly going to move in between Banner and Vashon Island. We've got the very intense shower over I-90 right now heading towards Lake Washington. And we've also got those heavy showers that just tracked outside of Puyallup with lightning strikes near Bonnie Lake. And we've got the rain showers, intense rain over Black Diamond. That actually may have some small hail embedded within that shower. Sammamish, you've got a very heavy shower stretching out across your area, and that's moving up into the Cascades, and it looks like it's going to refresh that intense rain and small hail between Gold Bar and Bering. Now, if we go up to the north, I just wanted to show you that between Mount Vernon and Bellingham, that's where we've got some showers popping up with recent lightning strikes. The King 5 rooftop, Steve, you were just talking about it, and I can see the water dripping off the windows, but what a different story if you look at Everett. Sunshine, blue skies, but the tarmac is pretty wet because they've had their own fair share of showers. Not quite as heavy as some other spots. For instance, Shelton's been getting a good amount of shower activity, 1900 seven inch of rain for you, but even heavier Bellingham, you had over half an inch of rain as we've been seeing those showers really hanging around farther north. Current temperatures are staying cool today. We're right now in the upper 50s to mid 60s and out in the coast, it has been showers and thunderstorms and sun breaks and big winds. Waves. We have a high surf advisory that's just gone into effect today that will last until 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. The surf zone's got these waves 14 to 16 feet breaking. And we, because you don't know what's in that wave, it's dangerous to be in the surf zone. So right now, downtown Seattle, 61 degrees. Winds out of the south southwest at 11 miles an hour. A lot of us have been pretty breezy off and on through the day. And we'll continue to have some breezy winds anywhere from 10 to 20 miles an hour through tonight. As you go to the high resolution model showing the scattered rain showers in these bands seem to persist through three o'clock in the afternoon for uh, Western Washington, but especially between Seattle and Tacoma. This will continue through tomorrow morning and we'll start to get a new round of rain pushing through. So your forecast high temperatures today, low to mid 60s. Boy, is it cool. We're gonna expect to see Friday also have some rain showers around, starting out with more steady rain early morning, changing to broken up showers in the afternoon. Much drier weather headed for the weekend, Steve.